Hey you guys, it's me, Just Tiffany B, and I'm back. I keep coming and going and coming and going, but I'm back. And I have a huge collective Sephora haul. As I've been on my hiatus, I've been glued to TikTok and I've been purchasing things on Sephora and they've been mailing in. I went into the store and I picked up a couple of things too. And when I say it's a collective haul, it is a huge collective haul. Anything that came in the mail, I condensed them down into the bags that I got from the store. So if you're watching this, go get a snack. This is about to be real juicy. Get comfy and let's get started. Okay, so let's get the small bag out the way. I'm not really going in any order. I'm just grabbing and going. Everything is a little bit, I got a little bit of makeup, perfume, skincare, they're kind of thrown everywhere. Okay, so I don't have this really in categories. If you see me looking over here, I'm just kind of looking at the viewfinder, making sure I'm in focus. Okay, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I did try this out when I was doing my makeup. This is the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. That is quite the name. I got this in Deep Honey. And when I say I am so excited to unbox this so I could take this out, it's a box. This is the powder. I'm in love with the powder. I have a whole bunch of powders. I have a whole bunch of powders that I'm in love with and I just need to start, stop buying powders. Okay, so everybody is raving about House Labs blushes. I went there for the blushes. I did a couple of swatchy swatch and I came out with I See a Sky, if I pronounced that right, and I came out with Watermelon Bliss. Packaging is gorgeous. The way this feels in my hand is beautiful. This one is Watermelon Bliss. I say Sky Watermelon Bliss. I can't wait to try these out. Everybody is raving about her blush, but nobody is talking about her highlighter. This is her Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlight. When you stick your hand in this, this feels like a cream and it dries down into a powder. It's the most beautiful feeling ever. Got the shade Raw Amber. This is how it looks. And this is the formula. I'm not, I promised myself I wasn't going to swatch too much stuff because we got a lot to go through. So let's just go ahead and swipe some on. This is really beautiful. Like this highlighter is really beautiful. The next one that I picked up, this is a Sephora collection. I picked up Snapdragon. One of the Sephora collection blushes is a dupe for the House Labs blush, but I did go ahead and pick up this one. Today's my birthday and I chose the Glow Recipe, um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow as my birthday gift. There was a couple of options. I'm starting to get into skincare. I was looking at this, so I just picked this up so I could try them out. It comes with the toner and it comes with the moisturizer. I'll have to try them out and see what it do. Fenty Beauty, I'm obsessed with all of her glosses. I'm adding more to my collection. This one is the Fenty Glow Heat. I'm in love with the Fenty Glow with the little sparkle in the background, so I just went ahead and picked up the Heat version with no sparkle. This one is the Fenty Hot Chocolate Heat. Like I said, I have the regular chocolate one with the sprinkles in the background, so I picked up this one with no sprinkles, just straight heat. Air Beauty, I picked up some of her blushes, but while I was in store, I did pick up some more. This one is in Believe. I have quite a few of her blushes, but I haven't tried them out yet, but everybody's raving about them on TikTok, so I picked up some more. So I picked up Believe. I also picked up Grace. These are her liquid blushes. So I picked up these two. I'm excited to try them out to see if they match my skin tone. From what I see so far, I'm excited. Mario. He came out with some lip glosses or their lipsticks, but they come out like lip glosses. He came out with some lippies. And I just kind of picked up the old formula and the new one. So let's go ahead and run through this. This one is Spice. I think these are the ones I'm going to swatch because when I see them online, I thought they were warmer. But when I got in person, 
I was a little disappointed. Okay, so this is the plumping color lip color. And then this is spice. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. So I got spice. Oh my gosh. Oh my, I have a problem. I bought two spices. This is why I don't, I, I need to stop randomly buying stuff and having them sit down because I bought spice, I have spice, I got two spices. We just spicing it up for this fall. <laughs> okay, moving on. I got Miss Rose and this is still in the pumping lip color. Okay, so this is Miss Rose. This one is Miss Rose. This is like a dusty mauve color. I'm not mad at it. Oh, this one is in the lip serum. I believe this is what he originally came out with. And then the plumping lip color is like his new formula. But I was interested. I was interested in how this look. This reminds me of like the MAC that they just came out with. That everyone is snapping off. But... Oh yeah, this feels really pretty. So again, this one is in Mocha Glow. Two more items out of this small mini bag. We have, I've been falling in love with Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury with the foundation range don't love me, but everything else I love. <laughs> um, so they came out with their highlighters. This is Glow Gilded, Glow Glide. They came out with their new highlighters, right? I got Gilded Glow. I'm over here fighting with the names. But this is the packaging. So cute. Like when you see the packaging, you don't want to throw away the box. But like I have a million and one boxes of everything and I need to stop now because I'm running out of space. And this is how it looks. I got another highlighter. I guess we could swatch this. Tiffany, we cannot swatch everything, but you can swatch this. All right, that looks cute. That looks like it could get something done. Sorry, my camera's focusing on me. But yeah, that's a Gilded Glow. That looks, that's cute. I can't wait to try on all these new stuff. Moving on, I got the Airbrush Brightening Flawless, Flawless Finishing Finish. Boy, this name. Okay, so I got this powder to go underneath my eyes. I got it in tan deep this is how it looks this is how the inside look yeah but this is the airbrush brightening flawless finish there we go that's what that is moving on <laughs> pretty good on time this is the medium size bag that large bag is gonna kick my butt okay so charlotte tilbury can we live without her no we can't this is the bronzer this is the airbrush bronzer i got it in deep all of her formula is just so creamy and a beautiful finish. I just wish she could just extend her foundation range because I feel left out. I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't have to fight to like make something work for my skin tone. So, you know, I pick up what works for me and what doesn't work for me, you know? Wow, this is really pretty. Like, look at that. Is that not cute? And they're really cute. And then this is a bronzer. I can't wait to try this out. Maybe I should throw away the boxes just in case this setting doesn't fit me. This is the Sephora Shampoo Exfoliate Hair Scrub. This is a hair scrub that I picked up from Sephora. I saw it on the website and I was interested by it. So, you know, I'm going to give this a try. I need to start doing more with my natural hair. I'm kind of neglecting it. I keep seeing this all over TikTok. This is some type of honey lip gloss i want to give this a try i'm obsessed with fenty lip products so you know let's go ahead and give this one a try it looks beautiful it's honey infused lip oil oh oh this is just too cute doesn't really have a scent no it doesn't really have a scent all right i'm not mad at it we'll try it out can you tell how long I've been purchasing things and letting them sit for? If you know, you know. This is Fenty's Butter Drop Vanilla Dream Whip Oil Body Cream. That is a name. 
I bought this as soon as it restocked. Like as soon as, as soon as it came out, I missed that wave. And I hit the like, let me know. Like let me know when it comes back into stock. I got that notification purchase. Bring it to my house, please. And I just kind of let it sit there for a while. So we're here now. Smells like vanilla. It smells. Smells really nice. I'm not a vanilla person, but this smells really nice. I'm interested to try that out. I'm gonna put this in my room. This is Kat Von D's Lock It Powder Foundation. It was on sale at Sephora. I don't know if this is my shade because I I tried out the Patrick Star one and it was completely off. It was completely off. This looks like. It always looked like it's going to match me, but I'll throw in a clip of me trying out the Patrick um, Star one and it was just <gasps> off. We'll see. We'll see. Fenty Beauty. I finally got my hands on how many carrots. And when I say TikTok made me buy this, TikTok made me buy this. So that is how this looks. I have the rosé one, which is not as shimmery as this one. This is straight silver and glitter. Beautiful. Makeup Forever. This is a Ultra HD. Is it a concealer? Light capturing self-setting concealer. Hopefully this is my shade because this looks kind of warm. I'm going to save the box for this. <laughs> Makeup by Mario. What is this? What the heck did I buy? What is this? It says eyes. Okay, so the, this is the Master Crystal Reflector. It's a highlighter. This is for the eye. Ooh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. I know we're not gonna swatch everything, but. Oh, I thought it was gonna show up more. Okay. That, I mean, it looks good. Focus on my hand, please. Yeah, that looks pretty. This one is in citrine. And I picked up another one. Wow, they don't... Oh, this one is quartz. I think this is going to be very similar to... How many carrots by Fenty Beauty? If I remember... Oh, wow, that is pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch that. Hmm. Do we like? I mean, it does what it does. Ooh, this feels creamy. Oh, wow. Now you know. Like, if you're debating between Makeup by Mario and how many cords, this knocks it out the box. It's more creamier, it's more pigmented. So it's a preface. If you want something pow, how many cords? If you want something subtle, Makeup by Mario. All right, let me clean off my hand. I feel like I'm back at Sephora swatching everything. By the time I leave Sephora, like I have swatches running down my hand. This is by Urban Decay and I did try this out already. This is a glitter liner and this one is in Midnight Cowboy. As you can see on my lids, if you're in focus, that's what it looks like. This bad boy is so pretty. When you look at it, I thought it was going to be more gold, but it's like a silver gold. Really pretty. Hands down pretty. I'm gonna keep this like really close to me. Another makeup forever. This one is a starlit diamond powder. I tried this out in the store. When I say this is gorgeous. Wow, this is really pretty. I remember why I bought this. Okay, so that is that. That looks like a showstopper. I can't wait to put this on my eye. All right, for Pete's sake. How many carrots? Let's go ahead and try this next to it. The only thing about the Makeup Forever, it got more blue to it, but they're still in the same family. So this is how many carrots? This is Fenty Beauty, how many carrots? This is Makeup Forever. They both get the job done. They do. I'm not gonna lie, when I look at it, they both shine on its own. 
Um, the Makeup Forever just got a little bit more blue in it. But this is a rose metal. I know that they just came out with their fall one. I didn't pick that up, but I did pick up the rose metal. I'm going to keep it. I didn't try it out, but I'm going to keep it. Okay, this is the rose metal. And that is that. We saw it. Looks nice. Let's move on to the next bag. Makeup Forever. When I saw Jackie Ina did the video on the Master Mats, I didn't think that I needed this palette. But after I watched her video, I needed this palette. And I waited for it forever for this to be back in stock. To the point where Patrick Ta came out with his Master Mats, his version of it. But, you know, I still picked this one up. I used this today, so as you'll see, you might see some, you know, makeup brushes, powder marks in here. It is beautiful. When I look at it in person, I'm like, eh, it looks simple. But when you actually play around with it on your eyes, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I like this. It's tiny. It's compact. Just got this today. Got dropped off. And this is the blurring primer to secure the blur. I wanted the the matte one but that's still out of stock so you know i'll be patient so i picked up this primer faded topicals i want to give this a try i've seen this on tiktok i want to see if it's going to fade hyperpigmentation i'm interested to see if it works so we're going to get rid of this box and put this in my bathroom this is the charlotte tilbury i believe this is a small one it looks pretty big but i think it comes in a bigger size i picked up the magic cream they are like advertising this like no other i want to really see you know if it really got some magic in a jar if you can read this i'm interested to see if it works so i'm gonna try this out I had high hopes for this. I don't know if I could even return this. This is the one size turn up the base powder. This is not my shade. This is not my shade. This is not even my contour. Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury. I got this in the shade um, Intense 3. You know, it's just a lip liner. Everybody's raving about this expensive lip liner. So we'll see. <laughs> Natasha Denona, I need to try out these shadows to see if it's worth the money. Everybody's saying it's worth the money. So, you know, I'm not going to talk until I actually try it. But this was expensive. The bronze palette. It looks really pretty, though. It looks really pretty. I'm interested. I'm excited to try this out. When I swatched it in store, it was very creamy. Hey. I purchased this I tried it out first impressions I'm not a fan I'm gonna try a different primer which is why I picked up this one I'm gonna try a different primer this is very liquidy and it shows all my creases on my face when it dries down so I'm gonna try a blur blurring primer and then put this on top and then we'll see how it looked but I picked up the sublime perfection foundation and I'm perfectly in the shade medium deep 25 the packaging is so gorgeous the bottle is beautiful you know does it come with a pump i can't remember and it comes with a pump everything about the packaging the box ev beautiful i picked up the airbrush lip blur and i picked this up in medium blur if that's the name of it and this is how it looks. We gotta swatch this. We do gotta swatch this. Let me see. I got the Brow Cheat Micro Precision Charlotte Tilbury in the one brown. The Polish Choice um, Exfoliant Salicylic Acid. Everybody's talking about this. I'm gonna give this a go. I'm starting to get more into skincare. Moving into skincare, I got the Tatcha Clarifying. What is this? Deep Cleanse. It comes with the. What does this come with? The Deep Cleanse and the Water Cream. Um, I saw Jackie yeah, Ina talk about the water cream. I saw this as a package deal. I'm like, you know what? Let me try out the both of them and see if I like it because it's expensive. So let me see, you know, if my skin takes to it. Everybody's talking about these peels. It's an exfoliant. It comes like a two-in-one step. So it's like five treatments for $20. So I'm going to give this a try, see if it does what it does. And, you know, we'll take it from there. All right. I've been seeing this. This is like a luxury, the clarifying clay mask. 
expensive very expensive so <laughs> i better love this um yeah i'm gonna give this a try it's not like a one-time try to see if i love it i'm gonna keep trying to see if i actually love it so my new love that i've been just loving lately <laughs> um sephora pro makeup brushes and when i say i'm in love with them like i use this for my foundation it looked like i used it for my blush today i can't really remember when I start doing my makeup, everything just gets blurry. I use this to blend out my concealer, and this is 71, and it blends out my concealer perfectly. Beauty Blender who? <laughs> and really, I love the Beauty Blender, but every time I keep forgetting to get up and like wet it, and I could just use a brush. So this one is a pro blush. This one is a pro brush in blush. This is a blush brush pro brush i'm done 99 i got this one i can't wait to just add them to my collection i love brushes i love buying new brushes because i don't clean the ones that i have so why clean them when you could just purchase another one i'm sick i know anyways this is a blush brush you know can't wait to try this out feels fancy i like it this one is 55 this one is a foundation brush i think Alyssa ashley was talking about this one i think because she has a whole tiktok video of the ones that she likes from sephora and i bought this when it was like times six the points like it was on sale like whatever brushes you buy in the collection it was times six the points and you know you gotta stack up on your points this feels fluffy I love this. This is soft and cute. I can't wait to try this out. This is the 55. This one is the 80. This one is also a... Oh, this one is a bronzer brush. I don't know why everybody loves their bronzer brush big. I guess I gotta get used to that. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna open up this one right now because it's chipping my nail. This, you can't wait. Ow. Oh, I'm injured. I've been injured. This is a bronzer brush. I'm gonna try it out. Huh. Hmm. Wow, clean brushes smells good. I need to clean my brushes. 93, this is another. I got two blush brushes? What? Huh. Okay, this is a different shaped blush brush. I don't know why I feel like I have this one already. This is 93, a blush brush. I feel like I have this brush. It's okay. It, it's, it, it will be okay. All right, 26. This is the Pro Crease Brush. I love me a crease brush, and you can never have enough crease brushes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I picked this one up. Oh, yeah, I can see the blending with this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We like that. We like that. Okay. This is a shadow brush. This is like a packer, which I love. Again, you can never have too many of these. Oh yeah, that's, that feels soft. I'm in love. Yep, mm-hmm. This is number 13. All right, we're down to the fragrances. I got three fragrances. I'm just gonna take them all out the bag. So we can like get this bag out my lap. Okay, so these are fragrance oils. When I was in the store, the uh, sales rep was telling me about these oils. And when I smelled them, I was in love. Let's do this one first. So this one is Nest and this one is an orange. This is a perfume oil. So what he was telling me is I can mix this with my lotion and then I can still pair this or layer this with like a fruity, orangey, citrusy perfume. And I have the best perfume that I just got for my birthday for my mom. Oh my gosh, you can smell it as soon as you take off that wrap. Oh. This is just so beautiful. I had it in the packaging for so long and I didn't get to use it because I wanted to show you guys for it. Gorgeous. Like, look at this packaging. Like, wait, look at this glass bottle. It just does something for me. You know what I mean? 
I can smell it before I can even open it. I can't wait to just like when I come out the shower, drop a couple of these drops in my lotion and then put this over my body and then drop some more drops. Y'all gonna smell me from a mile away. It's like fruity and that me, I love fruity scents. So as soon as I smelt this, I was like, yes, I bought the orange and I bought the rose at the same time. I, I just bought it at the same. I couldn't choose. I couldn't choose. So I bought the orange and I bought the rose. I've been falling in love with like rose and lavender scents. Magnolia. I'm in love with that. My scent is just switching because I like more fruity strawberry, peach, orange. You know what I mean? Like I love fruity scents. But when I smelt this rose, maybe it was the packaging because I love pink. Like, look at this glass bottle. We might have to save the box. You know what I mean? We might just, yeah, we, we just might have to save the box. Okay, so this is Turkish Rose, and this is a perfume oil. This is by Nest. It's like, it literally smells like pretty in pink. It like smells like rose petals. This is light and is pretty and is just like, feminine i love this i can't wait to put this in my room okay very good girl i been wanting this perfume i wanted the pink one so badly i just didn't love the scent and i smelled the black one which i think is the supreme <sighs> i wanted the bottle more than the actual perfume and when I smell the very good girl, I'm like, you know, I could go with this one. Out of all of them, you know, maybe I could just like, you know, satisfy with this one. Let me shut up and smell this perfume because it's been a while since I smelled this one. But yeah, but this was like my favorite out of the three of them. I don't know if there's more that came out. Okay. And I had to get the big size one because I wanted the spray that was up top, not the, you know, pull off the cap one. Okay, I got pink bottoms, excuse me. <laughs> All right, what are we going to spray this on? I feel like I'm moving like my life is in shambles. Hold on. Oh. Wait. Okay. Let it breeze out. Yeah. I bought it for the bottle. But this smells, you know? Alright you guys, so that wraps up this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching to this end of this video. This was a huge haul. So if you had a patience to watch through everything, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye you guys.